Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new, welcome. So to create this simple Feb Day card, we are going to first of all create our template, go to file, and you want to go ahead and choose the custom, which is the 5.5 by four inches, and make sure that your background is set to white, go ahead and click OK. The first thing we want to do is to set our background. So I'm going to go ahead to click on my adjustment and add a solid color. Now we are going to choose something in the blue-ish. I'm going to go ahead to click OK and I'm going to drag and drop this image in. Now to rotate, click on your image and make sure your show transform or auto select is on. If you have an older version of Photoshop, click on your image, go to edit, and then click on transform and scale. Now we can go ahead and just scale our image. Now bear in mind, if you're scaling and you have an older version, you don't have to, you have to hold down shift so that your image is not skewed. Now, if you have a newer version, you don't need to hold down shift to scale it. You want to go ahead and set your layer to soft light. Now we want to go ahead and add a gradient effect. So click on your adjustment, go to gradient. We want to use the style radar and we want the reverse. So we want the gradient on the outside. Now we can go ahead and basically increase our scale so that the gradient only happens on the edges. Obviously, we want to change the purple to a more of the blue within our canvas. So we get a deeper blue on the edges. And I'm going to click on my far end stop and I'm going to basically choose the same deep color. So we have something more like this. I'm going to go ahead to click OK and we are going to click on our background image. We are going to reduce the opacity as well as the flow. Now we are ready to add in our text. So pick up your type tool with your foreground and background set to black and white. Now notice that I'm using the Operita 52. I will leave a link to that font in the description below. So once you type in your six, I'm going to set it like this. Now I'm going to make a copy, command J, make a copy, move that out and make, go ahead and change. Now we want to go ahead and rescale and we are just going to tilt it and I'm going to move this down. Now we want to go ahead and add a textured um, material and I'm going to drag and drop this image on top of it and I'm going to make a copy. So command J so that we have the two images. I'm going to hold down options and I'm going to clip my image to the O. I'm going to hold down options and clip my image to the six. So you can go ahead and pick up your font tool and using the Century Gothic, you can go ahead and type in your info. So please join us for the 60th birthday. Um, and this is the Thanksgiving service in honor of, and then it can either be a mister, you type that in and notice that I'm basically using the Gothic century font. So now you can go ahead and type in the honorees name. Now notice that I use a special font, which is the Bella Donia font. So you can go ahead and bring in the date and time and location of the event. And also don't forget if you have a dress code, this is a very simple way to create your own um, birthday invitation card. Now, if you want to create a white background instead of a black, I want to show you how to do that. So basically you want to go ahead and select all of this, select everything and you have to make sure that you unlock any layer before you'll be able to group it. Now we want to make a copy. So we are going to drag this to the plus icon, turn off the original file. Now we are going to click within this, this file and we want to change the background. So I'm going to bring in another image. 
and I'm just going to drag and drop it in and I'm going to go ahead to just scale it. So we have this image in the background, but we don't want it in gold. So you want to go ahead, turn off these other backgrounds, click on your gold layer, go to your adjustment, add a hue and saturation. Now we want to move the likeness a little bit towards the right so that we get this effect. Now, once you do this, obviously you have to change some of your font color. So you can double click on this and maybe choose a gold-ish color within your um, design, something like that. And you can also go ahead and change the other font by just highlighting and then just changing the color to something that pops. Now, to make your image pop, you wanna go ahead and add a drop shadow effect to your fonts or some of your fonts. So you want to make a selection of the 60 group that now we can double click on the group layer and we can add a drop shadow. Click on your drop shadow and you can basically increase your shadow thickness and spread and all of that. So if you're satisfied, all you have to do is go ahead and click OK. Now we can also add a drop shadow to the name so it pops. Now you need to go ahead and reduce the drop shadow effect. We can go ahead and highlight even the date and increase the, uh, the style of the bold. Um, we can add a drop shadow to this layer so that it pops a little bit more like that and you can go ahead and click OK. Now, if you want to give your final image a little bit of a punch, you can click on your top layer, go to your adjustment and add a color look up. Now, you have the option of playing with the different effect of your color look up to give you the look that you want. So you can see this is the before, with the color lookup, it gave it a little bit of a punch. Now I can make a copy of this color lookup by clicking on Command J, make a copy and collapse this group, open the other group and at the very top, Command V, paste it. So now you can see the difference, it makes it pop. Now even on this, we can also go ahead and add a drop shadow select the 60 and put it in a group double click and add a drop shadow and you can go ahead and even increase it so you can see that it gives it some depth now you can even change the color if you want so we can set it so that it pops so you have these two options that you can use you can see that i have this which is with the white background or this which is with the blue background so there you go guys i hope you found this tutorial very helpful please give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in the next tutorial bye y'all